Hey, welcome to another innovation production. Today I'm going to be showcasing my new USB audio interface, which is the M Audio Air 1926. I'm actually doing this entire video using this interface to record so you can hear the sound quality for yourself. So what is this? Well, this is a 24-bit, 192 kilohertz USB audio interface with MIDI inputs and outputs. Essentially, it's a sound card that connects to your computer via USB cable. It has microphone and instrument inputs and also has MIDI inputs and outputs for traditional MIDI instruments like synthesizers, step sequencers and drum machines, for example. In terms of my application, I use it as a general sound card to play games, listen to music, watch videos. But also I use it for music production. So I use Ableton, I use Machine to produce music. I like this because it's got really low latency because of the high-speed USB connection via the USB-C connector. Now in terms of physical characteristics, it actually is a little bit bigger than most USB audio interfaces in this price range. So I'm comparing it to, for example, the Behringer Euphoria series or the Focusrite Scarlet series. And they all look pretty similar, where you have a front panel with the knobs at the front. Whereas this one has the controls on the top, which is a bit different from most that I've seen in this price range. And one of the main reasons why I chose to upgrade from my Behringer to this one. So I would say the size of like the Behringer and Focusrite, for example, are about here to about here. Um, so not a huge difference, but you know, if you've got a really tight space for your desktop, it could make a bit of a difference. As I mentioned, um, the knobs are here and look, the volume control, this is huge and it's really, really easy to, to use. And I like it because I use this for my main sound card. It's good to be able to just reach out and easily control the volume as opposed to a small volume at the front, which I had previously with my Behringer. You've got the left and right outputs here through TRS connectors, which goes to your studio monitors, computer speakers, or amplifier. You've got a headphone volume control here and a headphone socket output here. And I like this because it's got a separate volume control for both the line outputs and for the headphone output. With some other interfaces, when you plug in your headphone jack, it cuts out the main volume out. But this one, you can actually have both running at the same time, which is handy in some situations. At the back, you've got two XLR combo inputs, which means they take XLR connectors, um, basically for microphones, or line inputs for instruments. Now the instruments would be instruments with active pickups, for example, acoustic guitars or most bass guitars. At the front, you've got two passive line inputs too. Now these are for passive pickups, for example, the typical electric guitar. Now even though it seemingly has four inputs, you can only use two channels going to your computer at any given time. So if you plug something in line one here in the combo input, it cuts out the corresponding input from your instrument channel and same with the other line 2 channels. Now I need to mention there's a cheaper model which is the Air 1924 which has one combo input and one instrument input. With that one you can actually have two inputs going in at the same time so seemingly no difference to this one but I guess the difference is that let's say you want to do like a podcast interview it's handy to have the two microphone inputs so you can actually be running two microphones at the same time. Or let's say you want to jam with two electric guitars, you can do it on this one, but not the other one. And as mentioned earlier, this one also has the MIDI in and out as well. Now this here is a really cool feature. It's got USB on one side and direct on the other. Now what this means is that if you have it all the way to USB and you are monitoring it from your speakers or from your headphones, you're hearing the sound as it's processed through your computer, which could have a little bit of a latency. But if you turn it all the way here to direct, the sound is coming directly from the inputs. So you're hearing the sound as it comes in straight away, or pretty much straight away. You can turn it to the middle to have a mix of both the sound coming out of from your computer and sound coming directly in from your inputs. With some other devices, you just have a switch that lets you choose one or the other, but this one lets you mix, which is really cool. And with most interfaces, you've got um, phantom power, which is a switch here, which allows you to have 48 volts of power to go to the microphone if you've got condenser microphones that require power. I also like how it's got a VU meter here at the at the top where you can see the level of gain coming in and also some indicators here for power, phantom power and also MIDI in and out. Next I'm going to show you a sound comparison between this interface and my previous interface which is the UMC202 HD from Behringer and you can decide which sound you prefer better. 
Hi, this is a sound test of the M Audio Air 1926 USB audio interface using the Moran's MPM 1000 condenser microphone. Hi, this is a sound test of the Behringer Euphoria UMC 202 HD USB audio interface using the Moran's MPM 1000 condenser microphone. Hey, just quickly want to show you the latency in Ableton Live, which I use mostly. And at 192,000 hertz and at 512 samples for the buffer size, you got 4.10 milliseconds, which is a pretty low latency. So you got input, output, altogether 8.2 milliseconds, which is pretty low. Now, if you go to hardware setup and you change that to, let's say, 256 samples, which is also sometimes used, you see the latency go down to 2.77 uh, overall 5.53. Now my Behringer Euphoria had probably more than twice that amount of latency. So with this device, this latency is pretty good. I also want to show you the amount of free software you get with this audio interface, which is really remarkable. You've got Pro Tools first audio edition, you've got Ableton Live Lite, um, 11 light amps and FX modeling. You've got effect plugins, creative FX collection, Mini Grand Piano, an organ, Expandy, Vacuum, Boom, Drum Machine, and two gigabyte of Touch Loops content. So you're getting a whole bunch of software for the price of this interface. And with some other interfaces, for example, the Behringer Euphoria, you're not really getting much at all. So a really good deal. So thanks for watching my showcase of the M Audio Air 1926. If you're interested in purchasing, there are links below. See you later.